As long as we can keep their missile and uh, and bomb teleportation device down, we should be okay-ish. All right. We seem okay now. Hopefully we will remain okay. At the very least, Vivi is uh, helping us out quite a bit. She decided to come out of Vesuvius for us. That's very nice of her. It's kind of weird having vampires on a spaceship, but, uh, you know, you take help where you can get it. Alright, well, we got a drone part, some fuel, and some scrap. Not really enough to do much of anything. Yeah, I don't think I'm heading back. I think we're done with that store, sadly. I'd love to go back, but it's not happening. There are some mineral-rich asteroids here that the Zoltan have left idle, but we've none of the necessary equipment to mine them. That's too bad. It seems like we could get some good stuff out of them if we did have some equipment for it. Let's see what we got going on down here. We find the source of the distress call, a small research station that has set itself on fire. Let's dock and try to rescue survivors as usual. And we uh, watch the survivors hopelessly die, and we take their scrap. Okay, normal day. Hmm, I think we have enough to hit this and go here. Uh, okay, here we go. With any luck, we'll stay alive. Zoltan ship that's patrolling this area hails us. This area is off limits. Secrecy is vital. They power their weapons. They've got a couple of lasers and a beam drone. They're not the worst thing that we've come up against, so hopefully we should be fine. Could be a lot worse. Actually, those are, uh, nope, those are single lasers. I was thinking they were double lasers, and if they were, that would have been, uh, worse. But now they really don't have a chance of, uh, killing us. We should be fine. I'm not worried about a single beam drone. And that beam drone's even down now. Lovely! That worked out quite well. We got an extra missile, some fuel, and some scrap. We definitely needed the extra fuel, and the exit's not covered. Perfect. All right, let's see what we can find at the FTL jump gate. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match can be found for them. Are we really going to see this again? Let's investigate. Uh, brightly colored six-legged horses again. Let's uh, try to communicate peacefully and see what happens. We try to communicate in every possible way, but they just stand there silently judging us with their large expressionless eyes. We prepare to leave. Sadly, we didn't get anything out of the uh, this time. So we've got a rock controlled sector and a pirate controlled sector. I really don't want to go through a rock controlled sector because um, there are plenty of suns in rock controlled sectors. If I'm going to hit up the rocks, I am going to go to their home world, not to just a controlled sector. So let's go to the pirates. I'm sure the pirates will be absolutely delighted to see us in their uh, region here. A few years ago, this region was bustling with trade activity. Now it's overrun with bandits and marauders. You should tread lightly here. Sounds like a plan to me. Man, there's just a lot of uh, nebulas as we're flying through here. I worry about nebulas because you could easily hit a solar storm in uh, in one of these, and I just don't want that to happen. I don't I don't like these ion things. I guess it's not a, a solar storm since it's not really a sun, but you know you know what I mean. Anyway, let's head off as we slowly drain our fuel. We arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Sure. 
Our ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste. Yeah, we're in it. And I fear for the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. Sure, let's accept. At least you're confident, for what little that's worth. Well, this guy's a jerk. Here's their last known location, and we have a quest marker on our map now. Could be a trap, but it's something to investigate anyhow. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we got. Running low on fuel here. Upon uh, completing our jump, we receive a message from the nearby ship. Greetings, and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. No, we don't think so. We're not paying any fees. Too bad you'll regret this decision. Eh, maybe. That looks like that laser can shoot a few more times than two. But, um, hopefully, with any luck, we won't have too much of a problem. And, uh, on top of that, hopefully we'll get some fuel out of this mess. There we go. Starting the damage. Yep, that definitely shot for three, but he missed on the first shot. So we're, at the very least, okay. Come on, hit that weapon. There you go. Hit it again. Alright, they uh, give us a frantic message. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. They're willing to give us four missiles, two drone parts, and 13 scrap. While that is a tempting offer... I really need some fuel right now, so we're not going to accept surrender. We're going to keep this battle up. And we are going to finish them off. Sorry, pirates, but uh, we need whatever we can get, and you just weren't offering anything good. All right, uh, well, then we still didn't get fuel out of that. We did get extra scrap out of it, so that's kind of nice. Could be better. Alright, we catch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from a space station before our sensors shut off unexpectedly. As we discover that our sensors are being jammed, we hear hostiles beam aboard our ship. Prepare for a fight. Alright, well... Since they are on our ship, we can just go ahead and bring our uh, hospital capabilities online and put everyone into the weapons room, hopefully fast enough that they start doing more damage than we're taking, especially because we've got the, uh, the system here that allows us to be healed over time. So while we're not fighting fantastically, we are still kind of winning this fight. Oh boy. That's that's a little much for my tastes there. Alright, let's take you to Yeah, Shaggy and Velma, I definitely want out of there. Scooby Scooby's doing okay so far, so we'll let him stick around. He's not going to be doing okay for very long, but uh, hopefully he can take out one of them before he goes down. No, you know, I don't like the situation here, so we're going to have Scooby move along. And then we'll have you guys move back in here to hopefully take care of the situation before they actually manage to really do any damage to the ship. Perfect. That worked out swimmingly. They didn't even do one single bit of damage to our ship. And everything is uh, nice and uh, healed up again. Well, our ship is anyhow. Alright. Shaggy, get back to the uh, handles of the mystery machine. We need to get the hell out of here. Sadly, that didn't help us uh, in any way, shape, or form. There is, however, a store up here. We 
we've got plenty of scrap, so maybe this will uh, turn out in our favor. A well-armed transport ship and a squadron, uh, squad, blah, 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 a squadron of fighters are in orbit above a uh, nearby... No, they're not above anything. They're just nearby. Anyways, we're wary of their trustworthiness, but beggars can't be choosers. Let's see what they got. Well, we could have a second ion blast, but considering that it takes three power, that would kind of make it very uh, difficult to use. A weapon pre-igniter is not particularly helpful since our weapons don't take much time to boot up. FTL Janner is not useful. Long range scanner is kind of useful because that could protect us from uh, going into the wrong place. And these are just missiles and I would prefer having bombs over missiles. Pretty much, the Ion Blast is the only thing that's even uh, worth a damn here. And, um... It's not really worth a damn, actually. Yeah, I, I don't have the power for that. And it would take quite a bit to, uh, to get the power for that. So we're gonna fix ourselves. We're gonna buy all the fuel that these guys have, because we could use it. Um, I'm gonna leave the missiles where they lie. And uh, I think I'm going to start uh, pulling up a bit of power here and add some to our engines. And that way we can have uh, more engines online and be a little bit more versatile in a fight. Not, uh, not extremely good, but uh, somewhat better. All right, well, I guess we're heading down through here and hoping we're not running into an ion storm. Good. All right, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small space station. However, it's functioning without sensors. Or, however, because we don't have sensors, it's impossible to tell what's inside. Let's attack. Even if we did have sensors, we wouldn't be able to tell what's inside because our sensors haven't been upgraded, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so they've got a couple beam drones, which makes them not that dangerous. Um, mainly I just need to make sure that their uh, their weapons go away as soon as possible, because they do have the capability to uh, take down our shield fully if we don't get rid of their weapons. Alright, looking better now. We just need to not miss is the problem here. Alright, now we actually need to hit their shield because we seem to be hitting uh, at the exact wrong times. We need to do some damage here. Alright, now we can switch back to this. Uh-oh. Take those weapons down. I don't need those becoming a problem. We'll hit their shields once just for good measure. Be sure they don't come back. And we're good to go here. Worked out fine. We got some salvage from the broken ship. Let's see what else is at the station. Probably nothing. Oh, there's something. The station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. And we find a functioning schematic. As well as some scrap. Awesome. So now we've got a defense drone. Not that we can really use it at the moment, but um, it is a defense drone, so it's kind of nice. Let's go check out what this quest is. Is it a trap? Is it something else? Let's find out. We arrive at the last known location of the merchant's delivery and begin to scan for the lost ship. We find the remains of the ship. It seems to have severe external damage, but we can't pinpoint the cause. The majority of its cargo seems intact, intact, and we manage to discern the ship's intended destination. So we get uh, missiles, drone parts, and scrap. We can either take the cargo to its original destination in search of reward, or we can take the cargo for ourselves. Hmm which to do. Let's go search for a reward, shall we? We have added another quest marker to our map, which is somewhat along the way. Perfect. Let's go for it. 
Let's see what happens. Hopefully, um, what happens is we're going to find, uh, some fuel when we get there, because that would be really nice. We've arrived in an asteroid belt to discover someone without shields. Oh, that poor bastard. <laughs> All right, I don't think we even need to waste an anti-ship drone here. We'll just, uh, we'll just go ahead and try to take down their weapons as much as possible. I think we're pretty okay here. Our shield should uh, keep everything out of killing us. No need to waste. Wow. This is one of the most sit back and relax battles ever. Fantastic. Didn't really have to lift a finger except for uh, to make sure he didn't shoot at us.